Hello dear students. In this video, we will apply Heron's formula to solve a question in which the situation is quite familiar to us. The prerequisites to find area of triangle using Heron's formula is the measurement of the three sides and using the measurement of the three sides, we find out the semi-perimeter of the triangle. The question that we are going to solve in this video is the triangular side walls of a flyover have been used for advertisements. The sides of the walls are 122 meter, 22 meter and 120 meter. This can be seen in the figure. The advertisement yield an earning of rupees 5000 per meter square per year. A company hired one of its walls for three months. So we need to find how much rent did the company pay. So for this, first and foremost, we need to find out the area of the triangular wall. And after getting the area, the rate is given to us, which is per year. And the company is hiring it only for three months. So we need to find the rate per month and then find the rent that the company has to pay for three months. So let's start. Given to us are the sides of the walls. The first side is 122 meter. Second side B equals to 22 meter. Third side C equals to 120 meter. So now we have the measurement of three sides. So using them, we will find the semi-perimeter of the triangle. Now to get the semi-perimeter S equals to A plus B plus C divided by 2. S equals to putting the values 122 plus 22 plus 120 divided by 2. On adding we will get 264 divided by 2. 2 1 is 2, 2 1 is 2, 2 3 is 6, 2 2 is 4. So 2 into 132 will give us 264. So our semi-perimeter S equals to 132 meter. Now we got A equals to 122 meter, B equals to 22 meter, C equals to 120 meter and semi-perimeter S equals to 132 meter. Now to find the area of wall, we will use Heron's formula which is under root S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. On putting the values under root 132 into S minus A, that will be 132 minus 122 into S minus B will be 132 minus 22 into S minus C will be 132 minus 120. Now on solving, we will get under root 132 into 132 minus 122 will give us 10 into 132 minus 22 will give us 110 into 132 minus 120 will give us 12. Here 132 can be split it as 12 into 11. 10 we will keep it as it is. 110 can be split it as 11 into 10 and we will keep 12 as it is as we already have 112 inside the square root and we can get a pair of 12. So inside square root we have 12 into 12 a pair of 12 into 11 into 11 a pair of 11 into 10 into 10 a pair of 10. So we have a pair of 12, 11 and 10 inside square root. So we will get outside square root 12 into 11 into 10. Since we had perfect pairs inside square root, we won't have any quantity remaining inside the square root. 12 11 is 132 and 132 into 10 will give us 1320, 1320 meters square as the area of wall. Now 
the rate of advertising was given to us as rupees 5000 per meter square per year so the term has been given per year so we need to now convert the rate per month as the company is hiring the wall only for three months since there are 12 months in a year so the cost or the rate of advertising will be rupees 5000 by 12 per meter square per month so the cost per month is rupees 5000 by 12 per meter square for every meter square the company needs to pay 5000 by 12 rupees per month so the rent the company has to pay for three months equals to three into the rate per month which is 5000 by 12 into the area of wall which is 1320 12 here can cancel 1320 12 1 is 12 12 into 110 will be 1320 now 3 into 5000 has three zeros at the back 110 has one zero at the back so four zeros will have at the back and five ones are five five ones are five so three into will have 55 then four zeros at the back which is five lakh fifty thousand now on multiplying three into five lakh fifty thousand we'll have four zeros at the back and then multiplying the leftovers three fives are fifteen we'll have one hand three fives are fifteen adding one will get sixteen so the total rent paid by the company in three months will be rupees sixteen lakh fifty thousand now try to solve this question on your own thank you and have a nice day